All right. Hello and welcome. This is CT5. Oh, I should turn down the music. Uh, I guess, well, if I were smart, I would have checked to make sure the background music noise. Oh, boy. Oh, whatever. Someone, please let me know if the music is too loud. In the meantime, uh, so we've got a new set of maps this month. It's the start of a new month. Um, it's the player made. player made Halloween maps. And I want to try some different. It looks pretty open. So it feels like bursty stuff could be good. Wizards in general, potentially. Um, definitely considering some burstiness. Probably. And let's. Yeah, let's go with the 111 and let's see what happens from there. Um, so. Let's just change up what we're doing. Seems like it could be hilarious. So things I am considering. I mentioned the burst. Um, I think Hypnotic Beacon is a fun, powerful little card. And we do have the player made pipes of Hamelin. Just sprinkle some of those out there. The overheated mesmerizer is still good. Um, could be very powerful, very powerful. And that's kind of fun, so I kind of want to try it out. I actually haven't played them a huge amount before. So why not? Um, actually, looking at the maps, given how sort of like how much cover there is, the, the previous build I was running with the, the smoke bomb, the wizard that has smoke bomb in it apparently, um, if you were, that might actually work, still work pretty darn well in these set of maps. Uh, so if I get lazy, maybe I mean, if I get grumpy, we can turn to that. Hopefully I won't be too grumpy. But uh, that's what the caffeine's for. That can, that can get me grumpy. Ah, <sighs> tea. Nice. So let's think. Of, let's start thinking about stuff. Who should do what, etc. Um. There's an argument for the elf wizard having access to some hypno beacons, because you know they're the first out in theory. If they use their full four move and then have best range, but again, the fragileness maybe not. I probably want to incline for the human to have the um, the things for that. I think I might want the human to have the hypnotic beacons because they're a good balance of like still decent move and can take an extra hit or so, as opposed to the elf. Um, having burst on dwarf makes sense because. It helps compensate for their lack of mobility, but isn't necessary. Um, burst could work just as well on this fellow. Um, because the elf can best move into a good spot to burst multiple people. Um, yeah. So there's some considerations there. And then other things to consider. It's just fun stuff. Yeah, you're fucking random. That's awesome. You're random too. That's great. I've seen people play all these things and I've. And they've beaten me with it. So, you know, they're onto something. Fan Pain's pretty cool. Yeah, just poop out legendaries. That's a great way to make a fun, accessible build for everyone. To try out. Womp womp. Okay, well. 
Hmm. 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 Uh, so one thing might. Ooh, tasty. You're always fun. Oh, so things my mind is currently drifting to. We have the obvious. We have like the more obvious first candidates. But also, those two for sure. Um, but, you know, I've had a good time pairing these two on an elf wizard before. So what's stopping me from doing that again? Um, it's very tempting. That said, this is also pretty fun. True silver. So could go full on silver. Poop out damage. Great for dealing with werewolves. People always like warriors. Monstrous eyes bound to show and or werewolves. They're bound to show up at some point. Nightling. It could just be a hilarious amount of damage. Um, depending on how I feel, I have a silver lightning. So I still have... It's pretty cool. I have the two big damage spells from the O Sparks. If there is a werewolf, Inquisition Bolt does a lot of damage. If it doesn't, I still get good info from it. So worth considering as well. Um, I could do something like Silver Lightning, Deadly Deadly. And have the Spark Generator. Focus Electromancy for the three Spark Generator traits. And uh, that does... Yeah, this is pretty good. Consistency here and then an occasional random burst there. Like, that's that's pretty tempting. So if we do want to go verse, so let's say if we go single, well, you know, so that's one potential option for the elf. Uh, dwarf could go searing pain. Alternatively, uh, where's Barnum's? Oh, there it is. So I'm gonna go this. Yeah, my favorite. Um, combination of Barnum's and Overheated for a dedicated fire wizard. Could also be pretty good. And again, that's definitely like bursty-ish damage. This always tends to happen. They're the damage. Human support. Wow. Can the human do cool things? Human can potentially do cool things. But we have to figure out what those are. Um, depending on stuff, I can even just use Searing Pain and Barnum's as like a, as a sort of sad compromise. Because while the Fireball and the Ember Burst, they aren't, sort, they aren't like ideal for a Burning type build, it still sort of works. Right? It's still worth considering having a Fire Starter on. It's just randomly more damage, and that's pretty cool. Especially if I can keep chucking them out. I feel like Barnum's, if you're going Barnum's, I feel like you would want a um, actual more burning focused. And so I do have a oh, Red Flame's cute. Oh, that's a different compromise. Red Flame Barnum's. Ooh. Ooh. That's kind of cool. If I go full burst, it'd be Searing Pain, Sap Embers, or Million Embers, if, if I want to trade that, uh, if I want to use all my yellow tokens on there. Man. Card games. Deck building. So much fun, so much energy. <laughs> So I'm actually trying to come up with something that you know still is effective and effective, fun, unique, creative, or just effective. I don't know. It it it, it does tire me out at times. Because um, you can spend so much time just building a deck on its own. 
and then you have to play games, and if you lose, it just hurts. But maybe I'm just overly competitive. So another option I just realized. We can we can just like all the damage, all the legendaries. We go <laughs> true silver here. Destruction deadly deadly there. Or something like that. Eh? This could be really interesting in its own way. Uh, um so what's nice about this. I get the nice AoE. I have the the super sniper if we focus in on if we get like focus silversmith here and stuff. Um, and what's nice having only one wizard be dedicated on fire is that they aren't competing with each other. Um, so like if multiple wizards have fire starter and then but they then they play the same spell, then it like it overrides each other. It can be weird with instant burn, etc. But this could work out pretty well. This could work out pretty well. I haven't done this combo before. It looks kind of sexy. What's sexy about the overheat stuff is just the one token. That's what's nice about that one. Ah. <sighs> Alright, well, if we're doing burning stuff, uh, want that, want that, want that. Yeah, that's all that's good now. Uh, so we'll forget something up there later. Probably just get warp robes. Piloting. I want the glob. But if I do that, then I can do the red pendant. But the linear might be awkward since the dwarf is furthest behind. So I think this is a good setup. Well, let's figure out the dwarf skill first. This might be a little too front on offense, for better or worse. Um. Again, cool thing about uh, what's nice about the game is there's a lot of a good variety of items and cards that you can play things pretty differently. 
Uh, we could be more control focused or uh, more damage focused. I think I want to be damage focused. One of the maps, um, you are sort of racing towards the other half of the map for victory squares. Not great for me if I'm a control based one. Um, maybe. Um, so interesting. There was one where it could be pretty good. Oh, God. I don't know. Maps. Interesting. Oh, we'll come back to this for a moment. Because there is another thing I could potentially do, right? Like, so we have this. I think some illusory barrier would be cool. Um, but we there's also illusion. It's a pretty cool staff. Does hurt my damage output a good bit, potentially. It's also pretty cool. We could do something like. It's a big one we do, right? We could do, say, Illusion and a Heart Ripper and hope there's a nice little boom. Nice little boom from that. Um, alternatively, Illusion, Blue Destruction should be pretty nice, consistent. Or the or deadly deadly. I'd be happy either way. Or at this point, I could just go and burst. Why not? More different fire things helps push off potentially annoying attachments like a lichen form. So sort of works out. Maybe. Um, obviously, the question when you have some using illusion is: is five illusory barriers too much? It basically guarantees. It's really good odds you'll see at least one illusory barrier. It's great. Too many can be awkward. But what I like is that you can find a way to use it, right? You can make just make difficult terrain with it. You can clear out. Um, ter there's a surprising number of uses you can do with that illusory terrain. And there are like a good number of like choke points and stuff on these maps. Um, so I can use the block off enemy wizards. Like, I think wizards might be reasonably prominent. Um, and you can block off line of sight. You can create fun little choke points to make it impossible for them to move forward well. Um, there's just cool shit you can do. I kind of want to try it out. I think I want to throw out Arcane Burst. Alright. Your goal in life is to be annoying. That is your job. Annoying. Harassment, which is annoying. Very annoying. Oh, so wonderful. We could even do that. Oh, oh it could be a lot of pain. You know what they say, no pain, no pain. Ha! Ha! Ha. Yeah, this feels good. This feels good. What are your other items going to be then? Seven illusory barrier too much. Five is a really nice sweet spot, I think. Um, what else can we do? Is that the right time? Oh, but no yellow tokens. Ah. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this character. Okay, so any of my tokens might help a lot. Because we obviously can't use any yellow. So what about blue? Armor, hate, cool. How much armory is too much? That is another good question.
Well, if we want to be annoying, we could even throw that out. It comes with Acid Blast, which is occasionally randomly armor hate. Could go more standard route with more control elements. And if annoying is his job, that just might be what we should do. We should not play Whirlwind. It's a great way to get me to lose. That could be cute. Oh, the f everyone's favorite. Does so much. Yeah, I can use Squeamish. You know what you can do with the Illusory Barrier? Get rid of freaking enemy blessed terrain. It's pretty good too. Yeah, I'm fine with Squeamish. Hmm. Mighty tempting. Okay, is there something cool in human skill that we can work with? Hell, that's cute. Leadership is pretty cool. Sprint team, not great. Flank move is pretty good. In fact, it would be quite funny. Um, there's obviously this. Worthy consideration. Ooh, we could try that. That could be interesting. I think people were meh on it. That could actually be really funny. As an anti-warrior mechanism. Hard to go wrong with a team with team walk. Um, and then our standard tokenless fair. Probably trainee command. But jump soldier is one hell of a card that I really, really love. Okay. Um, Arcane, if we're doing this, probably don't need anything special. So that's cute. Probably just that for the two traits. They're nice traits. Is there a blue token robe I'd want? I don't think so. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Arcane shell? Isn't there a... Is there a tokenless one with arcane shell? I might not have- oh, here it is. Well, obviously not good for this wizard, given how few things it's doing, but... Is this a trait? Probably not great. Warp Rope is definitely the safest option. It's super strong. It's really hard to go wrong. 
Um. Okay. So yeah, it's possible I'm trying to do too much, but if we're on the annoying plan, let's do one of those. And leadership could be good. Could be bad. I'll hold odd on that one. I'll leave one blue token open just in case. Safe, safe. Um, you know, you're the terrain master. You're the geomancer. That seems very appropriate. I like that. And we'll give you a sensate's ring as well. Or the armor maiden pendant for the armor hate. Nah. God, what a fucking weird team. What a weird team. Boots. Hard to go wrong with mouse boots. Very hard to go wrong with mouse boots. Hmm. I might I might do that. Though so. Oh wow, that's so good. Oh my god, that's so good. I can't really imagine anything else at this point for that. That's very good. That's a very good... Done. Okay. You are big moves all over the place. That's good. It's good to have those moves. Okay, how much silver smithing are we doing? That's pretty. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let me just go pure damage. Not tokenless. That's great. That's pretty good too. Wow. So much good stuff. There are so many good things. Do you know we had all these good things? I haven't played in a while. So many good things. Like all these traits and stuff. Okay, let's plop that on for the tokens. Your dog is feeling pretty good. I don't think you need leadership too much. Though it does work well with that lucky charm you have there, doesn't it? Overall, your cards are pretty good. I'm not thinking we. I don't think we need leadership. I think we can make our deck um, consistent enough. That's um, then, then. There's definitely a lot more aggro than I typically 
like to make my wizards. Maybe I should. Okay, you have two things. We're sort of counting on these to make things. This might need to change, but for now, it's a funny idea. You should not have squeamish. You can you can wear whatever the heck you want. You have so many tokens, at least for right now. So this is pretty tempting. Get the cars, get sparkling cloth, and you still have a trait. Something just for fun. Force field. That would be a strange one to see. We can go super blasty. We can go super solid. Useful things. Hey. Hmm, that's not bad. It's not terrible. Ah, we'll figure that out later. That's too much thinking. And actually, we could be cute. There's Teamwalk, but there's also... No. What? Where are those boots at? So there's those to be cute. And there's also... These team shift could be all you need rather than team walk. But team walk is generally going to be better, and having the flank move is really nice. Um, alternatively, if we go full on damage, all right. Wait, did I pull those out? Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. A lot, a lot of damage. Let me do funny things like that or that. That's a lot of damage. Oh, which makes... If you go with the arcane auras, that makes wanting to have AoE, like... Makes it so much more appealing. Because if you get the damage buff hitting multiple people, it's just so much value, so much damage. That makes it hard for them to keep up. Um, so I think that's probably going to be too much. And of course, you also have to remember to stay alive. That's pretty cool, too. As it turns out. So I guess... I I still don't know if I want to stick with this for right now. Uh, having all those arcane ores is pretty fun. It really wants... 
It's a nice big burst. Wouldn't that be great? That's fun. If I get the silversmith, 8 damage. Pretty nice. More if they're... More if they have Nightling. No, no, it's not a guarantee. I'm also potentially pushing traits off from... Because I have a fire wizard on. So what if I swapped? What if I did go... Deadly Deadly Blue Destruction. Do I keep Blue Destruction on you? Do I switch you to Searing Pain? The problem with switching you to Searing Pain is that a lot less consistent. The Flash of Agony, not really what I want, what I want to be doing. Um, just having the consistency might be better. Also, it really could be funny with Tasty Tasty. Just Um, the biggest problem with the Tasty Staff is potentially running into a parry. It hurts a lot when that happens. It's funny. It's 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 funny, and then it gets blocked. It gets blocked by Perry. No. Did you do anything? There's probably gonna be like a bunch of those. Uh, let's get you a couple armor bane pendants. Because actually, having a surprise like three damage or even five damage is all armor sounds hilarious. Um, now we can go back to Fey Insight for Elvish Insight, which is really good. Um, could go to personal favorite, Escapist. I still think Slippery is very, very strong. Could do this for another move. Like two and a half, four and a half things. Consistency.
Do I want leadership? I don't think I do. I think I want a team move. I don't think you have a good tokenless option. So the simplest is gonna be Captain Cedric's and Trainee Command. All right. All right, three very aggro wizards. Let's see if they can do anything. Let's see if they can do anything. <sighs> Probably play, but we'll see. I feel like I'm gonna play like three to five-ish games, but you know, depending on time and whatever else, we'll see what happens. For now, let's get some water. Just relax. I need to work on relaxing. Oh boy, three elf priests. So, uh, oh. So what I'm concerned about one, two, three, one, three, four, five, three, four, five, seven, around here. If I'm here, not as great, but he was probably one of the, and you know, I'm, a, I'm a dwarf and I can move again if I want. I don't actually care about stuff. I can't block. It's a good start. Oh, oh no. Did I trip? I tripped. Wimpy, it's fine. Mind leak. No way. Luckily, you can still move. Okay, what are the chances he has it again? If he has it again, I'm very sad. Yeah. If he doesn't, then that's cool. Yeah, see? Cool. Still can't block. Alright, that's good. Trickery. He's right in the middle. Now's the time. Perch. Yeah. <laughs> okay.
I can't do anything about it. Wow. Well, I have priority. That's good. Taking some damage. That's good. Alright, I'm feeling good. I can, I can pass. They're all superstitious. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's unfortunate as well. They're both wearing. No, I couldn't get value. No. Dash, do I care? I might. Trapped, so that one armor will be, I think, surprisingly useful. Oh. You can do a lot of damage. I threw that out so to prevent him from getting further in this way and walk some line of sight. Okay. Yeah. 
of heals and not a lot of damage. Is what I'm seeing. You, I don't. What? I don't care about you. I'll pass. Gosh. For you, 17. I feel like you would have hit me. Oh, I should have done that. Eh, whatever. Dead, they're in range. Laser block. Worth. Barely work out. Start waddling to make sure you can't get closer. I might need to do that first. Then get a spur. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh my god, that's so funny. Too funny. This way. some burn time. Oh, well, he's no allies. He's a priest. He'll have random amounts of damage. More damage. Nice parry. That's the one I care least about. It's 
So he had a build. It was consistent. He healed a lot. He got in the way of things a lot. Uh, and uh, he didn't do a lot of damage. It was probably, it might have been awkward. He might have actually been able to have stuff earlier, but Superstitious made things really hard for him. The whole team at Superstitious. That's, that's, a, little, oh, that's a little much. Hey, Kelly Shakova. How are you? It's been a while. Obviously, because I don't, I haven't streamed in a while, but, uh, I was on the Elf Priest and I'm like, what's going on? But, uh, a more reasonable team. Oh, no way! You're the Oh, that's cute! Cool! Should be careful with movement. I don't know if you heard, but I was just saying. It's a lot better set on the previous map rotation. I believe that. I believe that. That was risky because it could go there. I could pass. Oh, Dimensional Traveler. That's cool. The heels work too. Mm, that makes sense. May as well get some info. Then I don't. I can start passing. <laughs> or I can try and be super greedy. <laughs> oh boy. Just gonna blast my ass. Let's say out of four spaces. <laughs> So, if I stayed here, he could have been pulled in with Telkinesis, which could have been really bad. Um, what's cool here... So now I have an interesting decision, right? I can Arcane Burst try and pick these off? But then I need to do something about you in, at the end of the day. Well, I'll start picking him now, even though he can get here. I guess I just don't want him to get that free move there. I should stick around here. Oh, 
nice to having that walk team so I can move things around pretty well. Oh, that's fine. That I can live with. Interesting here. I don't want to do anything there yet. I think I'm fine with this move. I can use Gustavo to pull you if I need to, and I can even potentially move you into it in range of that. Or, um, maybe lost pretty cool, but most of it I want to set up illusory barrier. Like so. Let's make it hard for him to move. That's the whole point of the game. And now that he has done that. Now we can more freely approach all this other stuff going on. Six. I don't want to get my ass blasted. Four. Do you have something for me? You probably do. do is pass! All you need to do is pass! Luckily, there's no good place for him to go. And I get to push my elf first. So that's pretty cool.
I'm about to be in... Okay. If we can pick off the Vengeance, that is what I want to do. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I may as well just get in the way. I'm nice and healthy, too. I've got the bursts. Go right back to where you started from. I'm insulted by that and throw the little zap at him. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, ain't it? I could be worried, I should be worried. Pass? <laughs> oh, he's going to TK. Interesting. It's pretty neat, ain't it? He wants that. Probably pass an all-out attack to him. Oh, you're burning. Yeah, just, just do that. This is nice and interesting. That vengeance.
что? I wonder if there's multiple vengeances. Excessive. That's what I need to do. <sighs> the moment he pitches this, we memory loss his ass, and then we win. <laughs> Fairly certain it's vengeance. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Shit, he knows. Is acceptable. Uh... Yeah. yeah, I'll take the first turn. Gladly. That is in something. That's weird. Kind of freaky. <sighs> I wonder the P after this game. Fun game though. Uh, okay, so now I know he doesn't have all attack. He takes the cool. Good. Interesting. That was rude. But, uh, yeah. Right, well. Go here, now if he wants to draw in, then we can barrier and just ruin his life.
Now, even if he has something to clear, he can't clear all three with one spell. Yeah. Has to force two spells, which is pretty hilarious, I think. Yeah. I don't think he's very happy. Yeah. I wouldn't be either. Oof. The right, the right move. I have to do something. I probably could have waited and just moved to set up an unblockable TK. But... All right, that was exciting. And thanks to caffeine from my tea, it's time to pee. I'll be right back. Get some water. Anyways, Callie, hope you're doing well, having a good time. Uh, I think your team super consistent, neat concepts, 
Just need a little bit more threat. Very good at staying alive. And with the Elven Maneuvers, or Elven Trigger, you could easily position yourself into an advantageous position. Then you can capitalize on it. Is what it looked like. Hey, this dude. Maybe he'll quit because I take too long. Or maybe he'll just beat me because, you know, he's a pretty good player. Well, let's begin. I should be worried. Sprint. Oh, I want. Mm, okay. Smart stuff. All right. Hey, <laughs> he's got the same idea. Hilarious. Does he have another one? Traveling curse, then vulnerable. Traveling curse, then
Oh, that's right. Oh, whoops. You only can trip if you don't end adjacent to an enemy. I just wasted a turn. A very precious and valuable turn. Okay. Boy, that's really bad for my team. Can't hit around the corners super well with the linear, but oh wow. That was really smart. GK here, so he still gets facing this way to block me. That was very well done. Let's do turns. How much I can do. Try and push it off. I need three things to push it off.
Well, I almost passed there. I almost passed, but look at your opponent's cards. Slow down, take a moment. Oh, it's probably a Halloween item, that's why. Cool! There you go! There you go. That's gonna be it for me today. Hope that was fun though. I feel like I played pretty well. I feel like I made good decisions. I don't often say that. I hate to sound like, you know, like... Arrogant and woo, but like... Felt... Generally felt pretty... Reasonable. I don't think there were... Any huge blunders? It's probably something somewhere. But I, th I think... I played pretty patiently today. Um, I did have blunders, the flank move and stuff, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, play patiently. When you're wizards, you gotta be tricky. Like the wizards. All right. Thanks for playing, Kali, Kali Chikova. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I am really trying really hard to stream at least once a week for Card Hunter. Um, maybe twice if I'm feeling good, if work schedule is like good for me and stuff. Um, and this... Okay, quick quick review on the team. Any thoughts on the team? What I'm liking so far, I guess one thing I was lucky on didn't really run into armor, a lot of armor. Um, because again, armor could hurt. Ethereal form wasn't, anyways. Armor, general problem. Didn't run into too much, but I did have answers for it. I had memory loss, I had some dissolves. Um, what I really like is all the wizards can do damage and it is definitely kind of cheaty having the bursts because um, you don't have to think about and worry about line of sight it's definitely easy mode right like you put them somewhere it's really hard for the opponent to get away from it it's, it's kind of it is kind of it is kind of cheaty <laughs> it is kind of cheaty um, so I guess at some point I'll have to do play wizards that don't that require some skill, as it were. Um, but for now, this is nice and convenient. And oh man, those illusory barriers wrecked that one dude. But yeah, every wizard um, being a threat. It's really nice. It's funny, I think wizard teams are still going to be pretty good on this map, though the maps are a bit smaller and like movement's a lot more like normal than the Acquisition Incorporated maps. Um, like obviously the last month's map really favored the... Like wizards, wizards were a big thing because, because of the way the maps were laid out. This one, it's nice and wide and open, so wizards definitely still have a lot of room to breathe and play and perform well. Um, but the movement isn't as strict, so... Yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. Anyways, that's gonna be it for... One sec, actually. And 
Honestly, like, telekinesis is always good in general, right? But, um... Yeah, that one especially. And, and this map, this map, these set of maps too, there are going to be times when you can telekinesis someone behind a bunch of difficult, ter difficult terrain. Um, so do be ready for that. Yeah. Be ready. Alright, that's it for Card Hunter for today. Depending on stuff, I may or may not stream another game later. But first a break. Again, thanks for watching, folks. And I'll see y'all next time. Until then, take care. Drink water. Get good sleep. Take care of yourself. Bye.